Hey guys, it's Gabby and welcome to my channel. Thank you for stopping by. Today we will be drawing a tortoise. While I start working on the rough sketch of the tortoise, I want to talk to you guys about what I have planned for this channel. I want to start out first with talking about this particular series. Every Wednesday, I plan to make it an Art Wednesday, where you can expect to watch a video similar to the one that you are watching right now. To keep with the theme of wild critters, all the art will be about animals and nature. It will mostly be digital, but also some animation and traditional art as well. It will be a more laid-back video where I will talk about the process of the sketch, share any projects I have planned, and just talk about stories in general. It will kind of be just a chat and draw type of video. If you guys have any particular requests of what you would like to see me draw, you can go ahead and comment that down below and I will choose from there to see what I draw next. Now to move on to other things I have planned for this channel. As you might be able to guess from the channel name, you can expect to be seeing a lot of my pets appearing in my videos. You likely have met some of them already if you have seen my shorts such as Kaiser, the German Shepherd, Camo, the Calico Cat, and some of my birds. A lot of the projects I have in the works involve a lot of my animals which some you have not yet seen on this channel as of me recording this. One of the first projects I have coming up will be an aquarium skate build for a betta fish. I already have the fish tech itself, but I am working on gathering the needed supplies for the build, including the hard skate materials, the substrate, and the plants I plan to put within the fish tank. I am really looking forward to getting this build on the go, and it will likely be the first one to come up on the channel since the others will likely be taking more time. Another project that will be coming up is an in-ground pond build. It will be my first time building a pond of this nature and I'm really excited to share the process of building the pond with you all. Lastly, there are some upgrades I need to do for some of my animals. My leopard gecko, Sinbad, is getting a larger enclosure as will my Herman tortoise. You will be meeting them in those respective videos. As you might be able to guess, gathering these materials and getting the projects done does take time, so these will be slow to come out. I also have plans for another series. In this other series, I plan to react to different videos made by other people regarding animals and giving my two cents on them. If you have any particular videos you will want me to react to, feel free to send them to my Instagram which will be linked down below in the description. I am really looking forward to building up this channel and growing alongside all of you. I want to inspire you guys to reach for your dreams while you follow me on my journey to achieve my own. Now that I've gotten the self-introduction out of the way, we can finally focus on the actual process of drawing this tortoise. As you guys saw earlier in the video, I did the rough sketch of the tortoise and I'm now starting to paint over it. Before I did the digital sketch, I first worked in my sketchbook to design a few tortoise sketches. I looked at a few reference pictures of Salcata tortoises and Galapagos tortoises. This one I tried to model as much as I could to a Galapagos tortoise, and I tried to put a small little tortoise on the top, which you will see later on in the video that I forgot to paint them in. I enjoy drawing often, and I will often sketch my designs first and then transfer them over digitally afterwards, which is what I did with this tortoise. Aside sketching and digital art, I also enjoy painting and dabbling with other mediums such as watercolor. I mostly enjoy drawing animals and landscapes and this is usually what I focus on. I will also draw fantasy pieces such as dragons and other mystical creatures. For the color of the tortoise, I try to keep it based off the Galapagos tortoise, which I saw reference pictures for. I think it came out pretty good in color-wise, though I could use some work. It had actually been quite a while since I had drawn something digitally, around a few months, so it felt like diving back in. Now that I've finished talking and explaining things, I'm gonna let you guys relax and enjoy the music for a while and I'll be back towards the end of the video.
As you can see, I've started working on the background and to be honest, I didn't really think too much about what I wanted to do for the background so I kind of winged it. But I still think it eventually turned out pretty well. Here we are almost done and I'm finishing up the last touches on the tortoise. As you can see, I completely forgot to color in the little tortoise that was supposed to be on the top and by the time I was done, which was around 10 o'clock at night, I did not want to add it back in. <laughs> Here is the final result. In all, I'm pretty happy with how it came out and I like the color scheme I did. Now that I will be making a drawing every Wednesday, I look forward to watch myself improve as I improve my video quality as well. If you guys have any requests for what you would like to see me draw next, please leave a comment down below and I will choose from the ones that you guys leave. Just keep in mind that the drawings I will be making will be themed around animals and nature. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more like it, please leave a comment, like and subscribe. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye!